Hi everyone, I know it's been a while. Um, here's what's been going on. I've been doing the WOV Life podcast. I have been dealing with life and since I started doing all these parts of videos with Foof, then I didn't want to do them without her. But then she started going to play group and then I never had time to do it with her. But I decided to do it this week. This week's Parsha is Parsha's by Yitze. And in it, it's kind of like a speed up as to what Yaakov, our forefather, um, is up to. And in it, I was I was looking at the overview, and it, it really struck me that the women in this week's Parsha really had difficult challenges. You know, we, we, we put these, our foremothers, um, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah, on these huge pedestals, as they should be. They should be on these high pedestals. But these women were not people that had it easy. You see the struggle of of Leia being matched up with somebody that she did not want to marry and then being snuck in um, knowing that she was the second the second option and the less desirable option as a wife for Yaakov. And then despite being married to her, Yaakov decides to work another seven years to try to try to get Rachel. So this woman Leia knows that she's She's coming up second. So whenever she's having children, she's hoping that maybe this child will make my husband love me. Maybe this child will make my husband love me. And then we have Rachel, who gets gypped out of marrying her husband. So it took about 14 years for her to get married to the person that she knew she was meant to marry. And then sees her sister, who got to marry him first, having kid after kid after kid after kid. We're seeing... Um, Feelings of inadequacy, we're seeing infertility, we're seeing marriage problems, we're seeing sisterly problems. And I think it's important for us to not only learn the Parsha when we're younger and learn it on a simple level and all these things, but I think something that we should do, um, I know we're very busy, uh, we have lots of things to do, but if you have the time to, to look into um, the story again, read it over again, whether it's with the um, the sages' translations and inputs and interpretations or not. Look into it, see it deeper, and see it for what it is, because a lot of things that we deal with today were things that our foremothers had to deal with and forefathers had to deal with before. So keep that in mind, keep learning, keep growing, and have a good job.